It's all diet. I'm out of it. It's all, all diet. <laughs> I'm going for the healthy option. That's gross. I have to deal with this every day. Oh my God, does it get exhausting? A little bit. What's it like being on the road with Kiss? Well, this does not suck. <laughs> it doesn't suck being the lead guitarist and one of the greatest rock bands of all time. I mean, it's really every, every kid's dream. Dream come true, and it actually was for me because I grew up as a Kiss fan yeah. back when I was 13, 14 years old. So it's really come, you know, the irony is it's come full circle for me. So as a 13 or 14 year old boy, you dreamed of joining the band, and then only a number of years later, you made your dream come true. Over 20 years ago now. It's crazy. As a matter of fact, my very first, my first official show with KISS was at the, uh, the KISS Symphony concert in 2003. Amazing. At the Telstra Dome in Melbourne. And does it ever get old? No, this, this can't, this never gets old. It can't get old. I mean, this is, this is again, the, the ultimate in, in, in being in a rock band like KISS and touring the world and private jets and great hotels. And I mean, we work really hard, but it's, you know, there's a lot of nice things that come along with it as well. So, you know, so everybody, I mean, being in a band, this is about as good as it can get. So this is the end of the road tour. Is it the end of the road for you too? You know, I've, I've been asked that question recently. and I, I don't really have any plans to be in another band after Kiss. I mean, I never really had plans to be in a band 20 years ago, to be honest with you, because I had groups in the 80s that I was in and, and did records and things, but I had decided I was going to get more into the business side and producing and managing, that sort of thing. And then, ironically, things kind of came full circle and I ended up in KISS. And what are some of the deep, dark secrets between Gene and Paul? What can you let us in on? What, can you, what <laughs> yeah. dirt can you dish on them? Oh, this is a tough one. <laughs> well, you know, they're, they're so different in so many ways, but then they're kind of uniquely, uh, you know, similar in certain ways as well. I mean, you know, I, I can't really get into it, but there's... Uh, Come on, yes you, know, you can. I'll just say one thing. There's only so much air in the room. <laughs> and sometimes it takes a personality like me or Eric to kind of just be there and, and, you know, do what we do without, uh, you know, too much uh, randizing and everything else. So yeah, I, I think okay. somehow the thing that really works with KISS these days is the, the, the chemistry between the personalities. There's just no doubt about it. And a lot of people don't realize that that's really important to su the success and the longevity of a band. Uh, you know, you see so many bands, they break up, they hate each other, and you know, you see that all the time. Yeah. But because of the personalities, this seems to work yeah. uh, very well on it. I think that's why the band is so good today. Are they competitive, Gene Paul? Absolutely. You know, big egos. I mean, let's be honest. But, you know, that's what it takes, though, to be Gene Simmons and Paul Stanley also. So, yeah. uh, you know, look, I've known these guys. I was just saying, I've known these guys for almost 40 years now. And, uh, you know, I have lots of respect that they've given me great opportunities in my life, obviously. And, uh, you know, I appreciate it. I mean, they're not simple easy to deal with all the time either you know nobody really is but overall you know i couldn't be happier and, and just to be part of this and, and be in kiss and uh have a great relationship with gene and paul for so long there's never a dull moment on the road <laughs> you know surprisingly yeah you know you've seen how busy we are and all the action and things that are going on the last couple of days there's a lot of moving parts and uh i think sometimes people don't appreciate how much goes into this and, and I mean it's just not only the shows and, and all the dynamics with that but just the traveling and the logistics and you've seen it's it's crazy and especially for us because of the makeup and all the preparation we go through you know they say we're the hardest working band in rock and roll but uh, I think it's true in a lot of ways I mean we there's a lot to what we do hello I'm Sarah Arbo thanks for watching 60 minutes Australia Subscribe to our channel now for brand new stories and exclusive clips every week. And don't miss out on our Extra Minutes segments and full episodes of 60 Minutes on 9now.com.au and the 9now app.